guys. Now we need to calculate the net number of bricks. Okay. So for the net number of bricks, we need to ascertain what is the center line that we need to employ because in brickwork we cannot take the outer surface to calculate the core, the brickwork core. We can't do, we cannot do that. We cannot take the internal. We need to take the center line, the center dimension of our brick, which is our center line. I already told you we need to take the big one and the smaller one, add together, divide by two, get the center. Okay. So same thing we need to do, we need to get the perimeter around our brick, our brick thickness, okay? Our brick wall. So what we do is the same formula as we used when we were checking for the perimeter of the plaster. We need to say perimeter is equal to side times eight. So it's gonna be 3.61 times eight to give us 28.88 meters. And now we need to ascertain the height of our wall. Now we were told that from finished floor level to top of footing, it's 900. From wall plate to finished floor level, it's 3,000 millimeters. That's 3.9 meters. So we need to take the perimeter times the height. That will give us 112.63 square meters. And then again, we need to deduct for the openings for the doors because we will not be putting bricks where the doors are. So we need to deduct the same as that 6.6 .6 for the four doors, 5.33 for the double door, and 5.16 for the windows to give us 95.54 square meters of brick area. Okay. Now here's the important part 110 is half of 220, and we have a 220 wall. So here is the standard of our industry is that in a 110 brick wall, we have 54 bricks per square meter, okay? So we don't have a 110, we have a 220. So we need to say 54 times 2 to get to 108 bricks per square meter in a 220 wall, okay? So now we need to take the square meterage that we've got, the net square meter times 108 bricks per square meter, that gives us 10,318.32 bricks. And now, since we have something called wastage on site, we must allow 15% for wastage. So you're going to say the gross total, 10,318.32 times 15%, you'll get 1,547.75 bricks. Add the two together, you'll get 11,866. 0 0.07 bricks that you need to order. So since we do not have a 0 0.7 in, in the store where you can buy a 0 0.7 brick that doesn't exist, we say 11,867 bricks to order. Uh, guys, I hope these videos have been informative. Remember, everything has got a cost implication in a building site. So you need to know how many bricks in a square meter, how many bricks in a 110, ton, 110 brick wall, in a 220, in a 270, in a 340. Those are the standards that we work with after you've calculated the surface area. And you need to deduct for all openings, all doors, all windows. Otherwise, you'll have an inflated price when you are tendering. Okay, guys? Give me feedback on the link below on the, and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Uh, and uh, any questions, just go to, to WhatsApp and just give the questions there or also in the comment section. Okay, thanks, guys.